where to start? <laughs> what is it? Is it really necessary to find it? I, I think so. One of the things that gives us great meaning is to find our, our true gifts. And I can't tell you how many people I've met who aren't aware of what their true gifts are, or if they are aware, they really don't value them. They don't think of them as gifts because the, these are things that come easily to them. And so they don't value things that come easy to them. A lot of people can't take money, for example. They won't accept to be paid for things that other people value greatly. So this is one shift that needs to be happening. If you know what your gifts are, you need to learn to value them and understand that not everybody has the same gifts. I mean, perhaps you can go into someone's living room and in three minutes know completely how to remodel it in your mind to make it beautiful. And you just think, well, that's something I can do that's easy. But that's not something everybody can do and you could actually make a career doing that. So it seems that what makes us very happy is when we're doing something that gives us joy. It's our passion. But it also helps the world. It helps other people in some way, makes them more alive or helps them to heal. Now, if you, you don't really know what your gifts are yet, there's a simple solution. It's unbelievably simple, but almost no one does it. And that is that you consult your peers. You consult people that you think have some insight, some depth perception, I like to call it. People who know you and respect you, maybe co-workers, maybe you're related to them, maybe you're not. It doesn't matter the nature of the relationship as long as they have insight into you. And ask them, say, I, I'm doing this experiment. I want to ask you some questions. Please be completely honest. What do you think my gifts are? All of them. And take notes. I actually recommend that you record them since your phone has a recorder on it. That way you can get every word they said. You can listen to it multiple times. Now, this doesn't work if you only ask one person because each person has a limitation on how much they know, how much they can see, and their own bias. So it's nice to ask a whole group of people. I would say at least five, but maybe up to 20. This might sound crazy to you, but it might be one of the most sanest things you ever do. And at the end of it, you'll see how the world sees you in terms of your gifts, talents, and you'll be able to start honing in on what your life purpose is.